Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Um, we still have a few more things to do in this kingdom. So, let's see if I can get the rest of those quickly. And then we're going to move on to the next kingdom. So, let's quickly just jump down into the hole. Because there's actually some stuff to sort of do down here. And just to make sure I actually remember a few more things I need to do, I'm going to actually talk to the parrot. Because that will be useful. The talker too. Slip behind the ice. I'm not cold. Snowline Circuit Class S. Well, let's do that one, since that one's kind of obvious what we need to do for it. Um, but it's actually kind of interesting that this exists, because we have to go back to the, uh, the race course, and we have to do the faster, we have to do the faster, where everything's harder, basically. That's how you words goodly. So here's the guy here who we can capture, and let's just talk to this guy. I'm relieved that that, that hits bi uh, it's business. As usual, on the racing front, the grand prizes for the race is now a power moon. Now, do you want to race or do you want to race? Yes. Let's get, let's start the race. Here we go. No practice round this time. And I don't remember how to control, but that's okay because I can figure it out. It says on the screen, so I should be able to do it. Oh, get up there. Oh. Oh, dear. I'm doing a little bit bad. Just a little bit. Oh, that was close. Final lap. And I'm kind of catching up to the back of the group, which is a good sign. And there we go. My middle lap was actually the best lap. Interesting. It's usually the last the last lap that I do best on in anything. Guess it wasn't a fluke. You're the real deal. Take this power moon. So there we go. Also, I don't believe we can actually do I'm not cold at the moment. Possibly? Maybe. But I don't think so. Anyway, let's go into the shop. I can't remember if I've already bought a, a moon here. Let me check. I have not. So let's buy that. And let's also buy all the peppercorn stuff since we have all of that now. Gonna change into this. And buy all that. I like the stickers in particular because they go onto the Odyssey on the side of, side of it. So there we go, that's all that done. And we just quickly check what's in the uh, the gold coins in terms of costumes because there are a lot to look at. Just look at all of this. Also, we can actually do something that I was thinking about. Anyway, so let's buy that and change into that. I'm not sure if this will work the way I think it does, though. Possibly. No, it will. So, if we take this and we go over... Where is it? 
I might be crazy and, and very lost at the same time. Moon shards in the cold room. We'll get to the cold room at some point. I think I have to talk to this guy. What is our racing uniform? The only uniform that counts. Nothing but undies. Wow, only a serious tough guy would be brave this cold in nothing but undies. You're a real beast. Please, take this. So, for wearing this particular outfit, not not including the hat, just the the other one that we bought from... What are, I don't even know what it's called. Hang on. The box of short shorts. If you buy that from the gold, gold, gold coin shop part section thing, words are hard. And talk to that guy, you get a power moon. Because you're not cold. But anyway, other than that, let's go up this pole here that I don't know if it was here before. Now we can go talk to this guy with this outfit. You cannot un enter unless you are properly dressed for extreme cold weather. Like with fluffy hood and warm boots. You look ready for the snow. Glad you know what you're doing. Go on in. I tire of standing here. Okay, so we have a secret area here. Which is cool because it's also an 8-bit section. And I love, I love these sections so much. We have a lot of spinies to dodge, but we've also got some uh, moon pieces to collect. I'll get through there. We also have to deal with ice physics while we're down here. Grab that. We can run across that without having to fall in. And now, if we send this Cooper Trooper going, it's gonna go and kill everything. And also, it's actually kind of bad that it went the way that it did, because it's now gonna be difficult to dodge in a small section like I am standing in right now. Also, I, I unintentionally... Oh, that's bad. I unintentionally hit the secret block up here. There's actually two secret blocks up there. And if we jump right up here, we can go up into the ceiling area and jump for a pixel power moon. Which is slipped behind the ice. So, let's jump down again. And if we can get back to the pipe, which doesn't look too hard. We can hop out. And let's grab this power moon. So there we go. And now I think we have almost all the moons here. So I'm going to just check a few more things. Because I'm pretty sure we can go across here. It's also good to throw your cat between those poles. Uh, but anyway, I think if we ground pound here we get a power moon. Shining in the snow in, the in town. And if we go over this way, through this snow block thing, and go up here, there's a treasure chest up here, with another power moon for us. So let's just jump off the edge there and head back to the main area. Let's see, have we got all the moons? No. Oh, the snow kingdom art, of course. We can't get that one yet, but anyway. Fishing in the glacier. I thought I could do that one. And those are the last two, so cool. Just just the one that we can get then. Uh, let's head out outside then. And let's see if we can do the fishing in the glacier. Um, where? Where? That is the question. Just where? I don't know where... Oh, is it over there? It might be over there. I'm gonna take a fish and just swim around if I can to try and find where I need to be. Is this it? Yes, it is. Got a Lakitu fishing spot here. So let's try and catch this big fish if I can. I've not had a lot of success so far with catching these. Nope, I'm so bad at this. Why? I, I shouldn't even try. Anyway. Wait for it to spawn in again. Let's see if I can get it this time. Ok, 
Okay, there we go. And of course we get another power moon from that. So that should be all the power moons in the frost... Frosted Kingdom? Snow Kingdom? Snow Kingdom. That one. So let's head on back to the Odyssey and probably change our outfit again. And then we can go to the next kingdom. Look at all the stuff we have. There we go. I just like the regular outfit than anything else. It just looks wrong with anything else going into a different kingdom. Now we can head to the Seaside Kingdom. Let's chase down Bowser. So they're serving frost, frost frosted cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them a defeat first. Seeing as how we got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills that we've already, already know. Well, there it is. Let's read up on the seaside kingdom. There's a carbonated sea that's supposed to be quite nice. And it says here, uh, to be sure we visit the four giant fountains. The glass is half empty. Whoa. What's on top of the fancy goblet? <laughs> uh, Bubble Lane used to be a beautiful resort until that foul creature showed up. Just look at him, guzzling all of our treasured sparkle water. Won't you help us, uh, put a stop to him? Also, I just recommend now just looking around and just taking it all in as it is currently. Just because I, I, li I like it right now. I mean, it's empty, but also we need to do something. Taurus won't visit, uh, Bubble Ain as long as that sucker's creeping around. Look, Bowser's... Prince, which way did he go? The sea water here is fizzy as a soda. Ah, it's so refreshing. When all four fountains are working, it's quite a sight to behold. When the waters of the four fountains combine, they create sparkle water. This miraculous elixir brings happiness to uh, to who to who. Uh, I don't even know that word. <laughs> I, I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Imbi imbibe it? What kind of monster would uh, desecrate our beloved fountains? Whoever plugged up the fountains wasn't messing around. Yeah, I wonder who plugged up the fountains. Who could it possibly be? That button is the key to restoring our precious fountains. Okay, well then, we'll do that. And we can capture these things, which are cool. We can just move around on top of the water like this, instead of going into it. We can also press Y to jet forward, which uses up water as we use it. But because we're on the water surface, we're not using up any water of our bubble. Uh, and if we hold B, we can actually 
spray our jet upwards, which uses a lot more water since we can't actually hold this much water forever. When we are running out of water, we just touch the water and we're back to normal. But anyway, we can also shake the Joy-Con to spray in all directions, which is not that useful, but it's interesting that that, that exists. But anyway, let's head on up here, and also, whenever you... Yeah, hang on, I'll explain that later because there's some things we can do with that. And the power moons in this kingdom are purple. we Try all you want. I will never surrender the delicious spark of water. Hey. Oh, he's mad now. Three, th three fountains left. Let's get to it. Okay then. Well, let's just jump out wherever we want. We don't actually have to do them in any particular order, so I'm going to go to a different one now than the one it's just trying to get me to do. It's also good to get how good good to get um, the flags done. Also, we need to dodge his attacks because he's dropping gigantic rocks on us. Over here, we have some of this fiery goop, uh, which works similar to the um, the purple goop in previous kingdoms, except it's lava, so it also burns us, so. And of course we can get rid of it though. I don't know if Cappy can get rid of it though. Yeah, so it has to be water to actually get rid of this particular group. So we'll have to do that if we can. And actually, if I land on the surface here and then shake, we can actually spray, shake the Joy-Con and spray in all directions to clean that up much faster. Grab those coins there, since they're right there, and let's grab this power moon that's in this water here. Yahoo! Okay. Let's release the seal. Excellent work, just two fountains to go. Yep, so... These last two are the most interesting ones though. So, to start off... Let's head on back over to the one I was trying to get me to do before. Way over this way. There's also a chest here which, if you hit with Cappy or spray it, gives you a life up part, so that's useful. But anyway, let's head way back over this way and take a look at this one over here so we have these uh, rotating things of spiky balls so we have to dodge those uh, but we can't get up this tower easily to enter the lighthouse you must go a further ahead so let's go and do that. Grab these purple coins while I'm here. I'm surprised I didn't land on that just now. To climb the lighthouse, you must first dive down into this w underwater tunnel. The tunnel down there is quite long. Only a fish could make it all the way. Well, looks like we know what we have to do. So we're going to need to grab one of these cheap cheeps here. Please, thank you. Also, this tunnel, you probably want to get everything in here while you're here. So, starting off, there's a power moon just off to the side here that we can get. Looking back in the dark waterway. 
And also in this tunnel we have nightmares themselves. The eels, which are based on the eel from Mario 64 and they're, they just pop out of the ground and you have to watch for their shadows. And also the walls and ceiling, but also just, yeah, they're terrifying and, oh, terrifying and painful. But you can just avoid them as much as possible and you'll be fine. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. I don't think you can kill them, but anyway. That should be the end of the tunnel. There's some purple coins up here that we need to grab, so let's grab those. And we should be good, so let's get out of here. Go into this pipe. Which takes us up to this flag here, which I'm not going to grab and I'm going to jump off. I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but first, let's go to the other remaining uh, waterfall that's blocked up. If I can get out of the water. Come here. Come here. There we go. Let's go way over this way. There's a lot of purple coins just all around the place. I'm not, not sure if I'll be able to get them all is the thing. I can try. Gonna go get these ones over here as well. Which are the purple coins are seashells as well. If I didn't mention. Rolling Canyon. I tried to get the power moon in there, but alas, I am not fleet of foot and could not outrun the danger. Well, let's head in, dodging all of these rocks that are rolling around at the speed of sound. We can kind of get through here with the um, the squid things that shoot water. Um, but if you run out of water, you have to restart, basically. You can refill on these little fountain puddle pond things. Not fountains. Anyway, now that we've made it all the way over here, let's just break this open. And there's another switch, which we're going to completely ignore and jump off again. So, there's actually a way to cheese the two fountains that I've skipped over so far. So, if we can go way over this way, to the pre one of the previous places, and then grab one of these things. There we go. Uh, let's head over to the, uh, the lighthouse first, because that one's a little bit easier to grab another one of these things from. So, if we go over to the first of these um, barrier things that we unlocked, and go up here, whenever you land on the ground with this, uh, this capture, it actually resets the height that you can, you're, you're, you can get up to. So you can actually just get up to here without going through the underground section. Just like that. But you do need to go down there for the power moon and purple coins. Yahoo! But if you don't care about that, then that's fine. You can just use the skip. Just one more fountain to go. Let's get the last one, which we can see from here, which we've already gone to. So, let's go and get a squid again, because we can do basically the same thing to get the last one. So, if we go all the way over here. Also, there's a lot of hearts that are just in the water right now. I think they're being dropped by the octopus thing. So, if we go land up here, and then, just a little bit more height please, and then launch ourselves right up here, we can just uncapture, and then we're up here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Great, time to take back the sparkle water. So now we have this guy who is a boss that we're gonna have to fight. And let's go over this way for these squid things because we can use them to fight him. So let's go catch up to him. He's got lava on his head so we can't land on top of him. But if we do get above him with one of these things and squirt down, not only are we cleaning off his head, but we also do damage to him, just like that. Just need to dodge all his attacks. And do that again. You can ground pound on his head when there's no lava up there, but it's just easier to just shoot down. Is my recommendation. Just don't leave, leave your capture. Just do what you need to do and then go. Where is he? Way over this way. He's running away. Just gonna fly through the air as much as possible. Except it makes me slow down when I run out of water. You kind of need to corner him, corner him in some places because he just keeps going away from you. But anyway. There we go. And it should just be one more hit to take him out. He's really running away, away, away right now. But anyway, let's ground pound. My goodness, what a pretty sunset. And it's so nice that the fountains and the sparkle water are back. But it doesn't seem like Bowser is in this kingdom anymore. Shall we head to the next? We will, we will at some point. But now the, the, the sky is permanently a sunset, which is nice. But I really liked the way it was before when it was just blue. I just like blue. What can I say? But anyway. The first thing we need to do in this kingdom is collect some seeds because there are a few around the place that we need to grab. And then just letting them grow so that we can collect them once they're done at the end of everything else. It just seems like a good plan. So, starting off, there's one that I somehow forget sometimes where it is. Right over here, we saw it when we went past fighting the boss, so. Now I have to swim all the way back to shore with this, which is a little bit unfortunate. But I think I'll manage. Oh my goodness. It's so far. There are also- oh, I didn't mean to throw that. I didn't mean to throw that. I didn't mean to throw that. Grab- okay. Just the slightest movement of the Joy-Con sometimes makes it throw. Which is annoying because I like to just itch my face sometimes. It's just so hard not to shake the Joy-Con. But anyway, also over here is a uh, familiar, familiar looking block. So, let's take this seed up here. And this is where we need to take them, so just gonna pop that one in there. And now to roll where, where the last few are, because I'm gonna forget. Also, purple coins are just dis dis distracting me already. Grab the purple coins. Uh, let's see. I know there's one that's actually fairly nearby, so let's go get that one. Because it's right down here. So let's grab that. Let's see if we can get this to where it needs to be. Oh, I should probably grab this flag. Okay, you can also use the, the squid's water to make these grow faster as well, so that'll be useful. 
if we need that. Depends on how long it takes me to do everything else, though. So let's head way over this direction. And let's probably grab another one of these squids to make this go a little bit faster since I'm slowing down. Ow. And way, way, way over here somewhere. I'll grab these pepper coins. Way over the edge. Uh, is it over here or is it up? Hang on. I'm gonna go up quickly. It is up here, okay. Which we can get up here very easily with the squids as well. There's another seed. And I can't remember where the last one is, which is concerning me. Because there are four. I'll figure it out. Probably. Where is it? Brain. Brain. Do it. I think it's at the far end of the level, so I'm gonna have to go all the way down there. And actually, it's under the water, so... It'll probably take me a second to go get that. Okay, up we go. Just gonna throw that over there. Close enough. Um, I should probably take one of these squids instead of the flowers. Since it's just a lot more time to go f in a direction quickly. So... Way over this way, I believe. If I go down here... Somewhere down here. I'm pretty sure it's down here. Yes. Right there on that thing, right? Right? Yeah, right here. Let's grab this last seed and let's take it all the way back. I'm seeing a lot of things I can do while grabbing the seed, but I can't. I'm, I'm focused on the seed. I'm going to run out of air. Oh my goodness, how am I running out of air this quickly? Get up, get up, get up, get up. How do I not take damage? I don't even know. Anyway. That's all the seeds. Wish I could swim faster with a seed. I guess I don't need to jump, but I feel like I need to jump. I can just hold in the direction. This is going to be a bad move, but can I... No, I can't. I can't do the, the swim dash move thing. Okay, finally made it. Let's take the seed to its spot and let them grow. And then that will be it for now. There we go. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Super Mario Odyssey. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.